Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing an oats moringa smoothie recipe. This oats moringa smoothie is easy to make at home. No cooking is involved. It does not contain any fruits like banana or any added sugar. It's super easy to make and a filling nutrient rich meal to enjoy as a meal for breakfast, lunch or for dinner in your weight loss journey. So let's get started with the recipe. To make Moringa Oats Smoothie, into a bowl I'm adding in 1 fourth cup old fashioned rolled oats. Into it I'm adding in some water and I'm soaking the oats for about 10 to 15 minutes. The reason why you need to soak grains like oats is to help release the phytic acid content in them. Phytates are nutrient inhibitors which means that it prevents nutrient absorption. So the longer you soak grains like oats the more digestible it will be for those who have noticed uh, having digestive issues like uh, bloating gas indigestion etc when consuming oats you can soak it for a longer time even overnight soaking would be ideal i prefer to use old-fashioned rolled oats as they are more high in fiber I have also already soaked 1 tablespoon pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are a good source of protein, fiber, healthy fats, magnesium, potassium, vitamin K, zinc and iron. I am using a couple of sprigs of fresh Moringa leaves in this recipe. Moringa is rich in antioxidants. It is also known as nature's multivitamin. It helps to boost your immunity helps to manage blood sugar levels. Moringa helps to reduce inflammation in the body. Moringa also helps to balance hormones. Hence, Moringa is ideal to include in your diet if you have hormonal issues like thyroid and PCOS. I have already shared many videos on the health benefits of Moringa. Please do check them out to understand more. Okay, now it's about 15 minutes and the oats are nicely soaked. So I'm going to add it into a strainer and place it under running water. I have rinsed the old fashioned rolled oats under running water and now I'm adding it into my blender jar. Into this I'm adding in one cup or one glass of water. Next I'm adding in the soaked pumpkin seeds. If you don't have pumpkin seeds at hand, other substitutes are one tablespoon of flax seeds or one tablespoon chia seeds. For added sweetness, I'm adding in one soft medjool dates. Medjool dates are soft, hence I prefer to use them. You can increase dates as per your desired sweetness. Next, I'm adding in the fresh Moringa leaves. For some natural healthy fats, I'm adding in a handful or about 8 to 10 cashew nuts. The addition of a healthy fat is a must in this smoothie as healthy fats helps in better assimilation of fat soluble vitamins like vitamin A, K, E and D. So do not skip using a good source of healthy fat. If you don't have cashew nuts at hand, you can use a handful of roasted peanuts, overnight soaked and peeled almonds or any nut butter of your choice. And now I'm going to blend this on high speed until everything is nicely mixed and combined. Pour the blended Moringa oat smoothie into a serving glass. And lastly, for an added crunch, I'm topping it with a teaspoon of finely chopped roasted cashew nuts. And my super healthy, protein and fiber rich oats moringa smoothie is ready to serve. So guys, do try this healthy oats moringa smoothie recipe and let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.